Hello students, my name is Dr. Colleen Taylor and I'm here to introduce you to your academic technology. The first step in academic technology is setting up what we call the Active Directory Credentials. Once you set up your Active Directory Credentials, you can set up your email. I'd like to thank Mr. Corey King, who works for Technology Services, specifically at the Student Help Desk. After this presentation, if you're unable to create these Active Directory credentials, you will need to contact the Help Desk at 804-524-2000. Help Desk also has an email address. However, if you have yet to set up your student email, you cannot use the email address to get help. So you do want to call that number. If you do not get through or you have any other difficulties, please contact the Trojan SOS at vsu.edu via email and they'll reach out to you right away. Te technically speaking, the Trojan SOS will just try to facilitate that interaction with technology services. Okay, so what is the Active Directory credentials? So when you get to VSU, you need access to sensitive systems. We need to know that it's you. So once you're admitted to the university, you're here to take courses. This is set up so that you can access that sensitive information and be in a secure environment. So Active Directory credentials are set up at this URL link, reset.vsu.edu. You can go to that directly by typing that in your URL bar. This is also the same place that you would go to unlock your account or to reset your password. So it's a very useful link to bookmark in your computer. The format for the username is the first letter of your first name followed by the first three letters of your last name and directly followed by the last four digits of your V number. The V number was received in your admit materials that were mailed to your house. Okay, so for our example, for the Trojan mascot with the V number V00123456, the username is TMAS3456. The username is not case sensitive, so you can use upper or lower case. Now you're going to have to use a password that has 10 digits. It has to have an uppercase, a lowercase, a symbol, and a number. So you want to think ahead of time, what is your password going to be? You want it to be secure so it can't be related to any personal information in your account because it'll be flagged. Um, you also want it to be easy to remember. So here's a link here. You can click on this or just Google how to come up with a good password that's secure and easy to remember. So there are some tricks. Keep in mind that you will have to change this password systematically throughout your semester. I mean, excuse me, throughout your academic career, not semester. Um, so within this period of time, you might change your password half a dozen times at minimum. So you want a system to change that password. So let's get started. Once you go to the reset.vsu.edu, this is the first window that you'll see. There's a link here for how to's that's located on the web page should this presentation not be sufficient. However, it's pretty straightforward. Just click on new account setup. When you click new account setup, you will get this next window. Go ahead and put in that username we discussed. In this case, case the Trojan mascot, TMAS3456. Obviously, yours is dependent on your V number. When you push next, you should get the next screen. The next screen, you have to put in what will be your email address. So the format's the same. The first letter of your first name followed by the first three letters of your last name directly followed by the last four digits of your V number, then at students, plural, dot VSU dot edu. Then we need your full V number, and that V number is case sensitive, so you do have to use a capital V. So it's a V00, and those aren't capital O's, make sure they're zeros, and then typically a six-digit number after that. So don't forget to use the plural students in the email address line, that's a common mistake. Now, once you have selected your, uh, or put in your username, your email address, your V number, now we're at the point where you need to select your questions. So you have a bank of questions for which you 
would have to know the answer and it would have to be obvious because later you might have to verify your identity should you lock yourself out of your account. And so this is the interface that you would use. So select the question that's pertinent to you and put in your answers. Make sure you confirm them, push next. And you can see the progress bar at the top. So finally, that all important password, again, has to be at least 10 characters. It must contain a number, special character, uppercase, as well as a lowercase character at minimum. Okay, so after you've done that, there's a button that says change. It may say next, it may say change, but you go ahead and put that in there. And then you should get this congratulations screen. So that would be your what, what we call your onboarding. And you have now become uh, official in the university system. Now, sometimes this takes a while for the cogs and wheels to click through and make you official behind the scenes. So you might want to wait about an hour before you go ahead and log in for the first time for your email. OK, so to get to the email, we're going to use something called the Trojan link. The Trojan link is going to send you to most academic technologies uh, URL links. So when you go to the main web page, www.vsu.edu, you can go to the right hand side and scroll down under recess resources for and at the very bottom you'll see the Trojan link. Okay, once you're at the Trojan link you can access as I mentioned all of these technologies. So it's a really good idea to go ahead and bookmark the Trojan link. If you bookmark the Trojan link, the next time when you go to your browser, you can just, you know, click on the bar on the top where you have it in your favorites. So there are different ways to do that in different browsers, um, but it's really straightforward. Just click a star when you're in, for example, your um, Google Chrome application. So once you click the Trojan link, the important links are on the very top, and this is obviously one of the very important links. So we're going to click the student email system. Now keep in mind what we're doing here is we're using a web version. When you use a web version, you're accessing the email using your web browser. This is not the same as using an application. So once you set up your web version, typically you can set up the app on your phone. If you need help setting up the app on your phone, typically that's an issue for your carrier. However, you could still call the help desk to see if they can walk you through it or help you along. They may or may not be able to do so. Um, so let's go ahead and use a web version until we set up that app. Again, please bookmark the Trojan link. When you click on the student email system, initially you're going to be brought to this page. The reason they have this page is because there's a common error that will occur for most students. If you use Outlook on a regular basis for other accounts, what's going to happen is it's going to remember that you have another Outlook account. And so when you click on the link, it will send you to the other account, or you may see an error message. Okay, so you have to log out of your accounts, and typically you would have to uh, clear your cache or clear your history, um, at all of those things. Your history and cache and so forth, you would go to your settings in your browser. So for me, that would be these three dots here, and then I would have to go to my um, settings and then I would have to go to security and in my security I would find um, in that you know scroll I would find that I can clear my memory my cache and so forth. So that action often will resolve the issue. However if you cannot resolve the issue please call oh, excuse me 524-5210 that's an extra uh, phone number by the way 524-2000 is what you want to call however if you call the 524-5210 number that will also get you to the same place you would just have to select your student so this is the email address here for outlook you can go ahead and put that in your favorites as well once you get to this point you would just put in your email address as we discussed prior don't forget it's plural students so for our Trojan, ma Trojan mascot, that's TMAS3456 at students.vsu.edu. The password is the same password you set up for your Active Directory. So if you've waited an hour, it should be sufficient time for that to work. If it doesn't work this time, you might want to give it a little bit more time rather than keep trying it over and over again. Okay, so just make sure you're very careful so you don't lock yourself out of your account. If you do lock yourself out of your account, guess what? You can use the reset tool 
or you can call 804-524-2000. And that's it for your Active Directory and your email. It's super important that you have done that because if you don't set up your Active Directory, you cannot get into your classes in our academic system called Blackboard. Okay, so that's it for now. Banner and the Registrar's page is the next, next video we'll cover.